Extreme cold canceled school for many for two days. But in Schaumburg, it was a third day home from school, this time because of the bus fleet. We wanted to know why were some districts able to get the buses up and running after the sub-zero temps, but this one couldn't. Megan Hickey joins us live in Schaumburg with what we've learned. Megan. Robin Erica, first student runs buses for several districts in our area, but they tell me Schaumburg is the only place where the condition of the fleet canceled school, and parents want to know why. School bus operator United Quick Transportation showed us their sub zero weather preps earlier this week. This morning, they were happy to report that all of their diesel buses had survived the cold snap and were up and running. So were the fleets of the 16 different transportation companies owned by the Cook Illinois Corporation, which covers about 200 different school districts in the Chicagoland area. We did our job and our mechanics did their job and we, were, we ran this morning and we were very happy and proud about that. So that's why many parents in districts like Schaumburg were puzzled when they got the news that the cold weather had rendered about one fourth of the fleet inoperable and school would be closed for the approximately 16,000 students in the district. We were looking forward to Friday a return and disappointed when we got the notice that buses were down and school was not going to be in session on Friday. A spokesperson for First Student, the company that operates the buses, couldn't answer any of our questions about the age of their fleet, where the buses are stored, or even how many buses they have servicing District 54. In a statement, the company said they've been preparing for extreme temperatures, including having winter teams starting the engines every four hours for 30 minutes at a time and changing the additives in the fuel to prevent freezing. Quote, however, when there are multiple days of extreme temperatures, Mother Nature just wins. I thought that the buses ran similarly. I guess I'm wrong. Tom O'Sullivan said he can't speak for any other companies, but decades of experience in these cold temperatures was key for them. We're happy that we were able to service the children and our customers. Now, first student says several other factors came into play when canceling school, including the condition of the roads and the temperatures for kids waiting at the bus stop. Live in Schaumburg, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 News.